Hey, Dr. Cat Epidemiologist. One question people ask me all the time about vaccines is why do some vaccines require regular updates while others provide longer lasting or even lifetime protection? So if you're a healthcare provider listening to this, this is something that your patients probably are also wondering. The way I explain it to people is it comes down to the nature of the different pathogens. So viruses that mutate rapidly, some examples of this are COVID-19's virus SARS-CoV-2 or the influenza virus. These types of viruses undergo frequent mutations leading to changes in their surface proteins. As a result of these rapid mutations, the immune system's memory becomes less effective over time, requiring new vaccines on a regular basis. On the other hand, stable viruses and bacteria, some examples are measles and polio, do not change significantly over time. And because they don't really change, the immune system retains that long lasting memory offering long lasting or even lifetime protection after the vaccination. So in other words, there's two different types of immunity produced by vaccines. Short term immunity is produced by vaccines that produce temporary immunity like flu or COVID-19 vaccines. And the reason the protection is short is because the immune response to highly mutating viruses is less durable long-term because the viruses are changing. Vaccines that are designed for stable pathogens often generate long-lasting immune memory, T cells and B cells that do not need to be readministered as often or sometimes ever. So basically the difference in how often we need a vaccine comes down to the speed at which the pathogen mutates. But it's really important to note that both types of vaccines are vital in maintaining public health. And right now is the perfect time for you to get your seasonal flu and COVID-19 vaccines if you haven't already, and you can even get them at the same time.